Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and this is going to be a uh, quick version of the uh, PCB breakdown of the MSI 3090 Supreme X because this guy requested it, and I don't think that card deserves a PC, a full-blown PCB breakdown. So, uh, first we we go over to Tech Power Up because you know their reviews contain these lovely PCB pictures, right? Here, here we have the Supreme X. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely a GPU. And here we have the Gaming X, and you'll notice that these look extremely similar. Almost like MSI didn't do anything. Um, maybe because <laughs> maybe because they didn't. Uh, but anyway, so... Let's see, how many phases? So that's the memory, that's memory. We've got four phases above that, cool. Um, which normally you'd only have, uh, two? Okay, so yeah, so they, they've added, uh, so they've added two phases to the side, or well... Actually, they didn't necessarily add two more phases, they just added two more power stages. Um, and then on this side we've got, okay, we can see the split in the power plane, actually it'll, it'll be easier if we do it this way. Um, power plane split is right there, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Um, okay, so we've got, what, an eleven power stage V-core? I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the other side, we got one, two, three, four. Yeah. So, 11, 11 power stage V-core. Um, and, you know, that wouldn't be that bad. You, you might be looking at these power stages here going like, oh, these, these you know, they're, they're that rectangular package. Those are totally a 70 amp smart power stage, right? It'd be a real shame if they weren't a 70 amp power stage. So, anyway, um, on the Gaming X, what MSI uses is uh, the Alpha and Omega sem Semiconductor... Uh, oh wait, no, they use the... Oh, I guess... Oh! Oh, I was wrong! <laughs> MSI used even crappier power stages. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Help me Google. Yay! Okay. So we got these. These are also 50 amp, though. Well, up to 50. But anyway, if we scroll through the documentation, yeah, in typical in typical power stage fashion, the, the performance curves end at, like, 40 amps. Got clipped the end of the data sheet there, but yeah, it basically ends at 40 amps. Um, and then we have the power stages that we have on the Supreme X. <coughs> and so, at 20 amps, this produces 2 watts of heat. At uh, 20 amps, this produces a little bit more than 20, 2 watts of heat. Admittedly, that's 500 kilohertz versus... Oh, well, these are actually more efficient at 500. Wait, this is 1 volt output. Are they at the same... Wait, that's... Uh, out. Wait. No, that's 19 volts in, 1V out. I'm looking at the wrong chart. This one! Yeah, this is the right chart. Okay, so the performance is the same. Um, right? I'm I was looking at the 19 volt chart. No. 12 volt chart, 1 volt out... 500 kilohertz, uh, yeah, about 2 watts. I mean, a little bit less than 2 watts. Uh, this, this is looking great. And, and this is, uh, 12 volts in, 1 volt out. Um, and this is important because depending on the voltages that you're, like, from what voltage to what other voltage you're converting to, the efficiency changes a bit. Um, but yeah, so basically, and I think the 3090 gaming was what? Like, you've got two, yeah, two V-core here. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight. So, well, the the Supreme X does not compare to the Hall of Fame, is the short version of it. The Supreme X is like a 11-phase uh, version of the Gaming X. Or 11, well, it's not 11-phase, it's 11 power stages. They did also upgrade the voltage controllers, like the, the Gaming X uses... This set right here, the 81611, uh, 9512, and another 9512. The Supreme X uses the monolithic power systems uh, components, but uh, yeah, they're really not doing much with them. So that's that's why I didn't do a full PCB breakdown of this card, because when, when this came out, I got really excited that we might have a successor to the Lightning series from MSI, and then I got to the PCB, you know, I got to the, the circuit board analysis of the Tech Power Up review, and I was like, oh, well, that was di that's disappointing, isn't it? So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. And I guess uh, MSVDD, yeah, we've got six-phase MSVDD, which is sort of the standard. Which I think even the regular Gaming X had six phase MSVDD. Okay, now this had five. 
Yeah, okay, this had five phase MSVDD. Doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, so, yeah, ho hopefully that uh, that uh, covers everything you needed to know about the, the, the 3090 Supreme. Um, it kind of sucks. <laughs> well, I... The, the, to, to be fair, for like day-to-day -day operation, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, in day-to-day -day operation, the, like you could also just go with this instead. Like, it's not a really significant downgrade going with this instead of this. Um, except for the part where this ships with a really high power limit, and this doesn't. Um, so, yeah. that That's, that's kind of that. Anyway... Um, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description below. There's also the AHOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual, uh, YouTuber merch. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.